and the Rona and the Rona Chronicles and thinking that I was thinking how oh, that, that's all over. And here we are, <laughs> another another one coming back in with this monkey pox. I feel like uh, Al Pacino in The Godfather 3. Every time they I try to pull out, get away, they pull me back in. But anyway, so before we talk about the monkey business, uh, I want to talk about some of you out there and your puritanical mindset. Now, I said that I, I like the guy Sanity for Sweden. I think his name is Stefan. And he made, he made a video where he said some nice things about me. So thank you, sir. And people were leaving comments on my thing saying, Oh, be warned, he likes Russell Brand and he liked uh, he, he he's happy he likes Elon Musk. And I'm like and you know, and you're away from them to say, Well he's a shill. Oh, okay. Uh, here we go again. Because someone isn't exactly a, a carbon copy mirror image of everything you believe in. They're automatically declared suspect and you will not have anything to do with them. That is the Abrahamic com communist truth or puritanical mindset. Either you're completely with me or you're on the other side. I see this time and time again. I don't care that the man is into it is, has been enjoying Russell Brand or Elon Musk. I couldn't give a flying fuck. That's his own prerogative, his own business. I get the same shit when I start talking about Middle Earth. Oh, this used to be a good channel, but now you're bringing in all these Middle Earth references. I'm out. Uh, what? Have you? Have any of you ever been in a relationship? I mean, have any of you ever actually loved someone? Yeah, there are days you will be pulling each other's hair out. You will be fighting over stuff, often trivial stuff, but that in no way means you don't love and care for one another or don't respect one another. I have worked with people over the years who have had big fights with on the job, but I have the highest respect for these people. It really tells you a lot about these truthers, doesn't it? Like they all probably live at home with their parents. They've never had a real life experience. They've never been in a long-term relationship except with their spliffs. And... Uh, they, they have this black and white, puritanical, childish, infantile mentality that if someone doesn't completely believe what I believe, he or she is a shill. That's what you're like. You're no better than these, these, like, these posh uh, socialists and these progressives who think that everyone who doesn't agree with everything they say is a, nan is a Nazi. You're the same mentality. The Abrahamic and the communist thing is exactly the same mentality. You're either with us or against us completely. And that's because communism comes out, ultimately comes out of Abrahamic, the Abrahamic mindset. But uh, Jesus Christ, some of you need to really uh, get need to get out there, you know, forget, switch off the internet and go try and have a long term job, or even if you can manage to find a relationship to be into, either a marriage or a romantic one or a friendship, because you're you're in for a big, you're in for a very long life if you think that you have to agree with everything people that you you, you know uh, are you are they your enemy you're in for a very rough ride in life my friend you can't like i don't like i can't stand russell brand uh elon musk i i'm pretty sure he's a globalist plant but having said that every just because the man on sandy for sweden is it believes it doesn't have a problem with those two it doesn't mean that i discount everything else the man says it's called being a, a human being it's called uh, having a personality and being an individual. Jesus Christ, what are some of you true? What are lots of you truthers like? Oh, he's, 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 Nigel Nonsman. Oh, he, 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 he believes the moon landing is real. All this kind of thing. You know, the fucking spliff out the here. The 20th spliff of the morning. Jesus Christ, if Annie has ever been in a relationship. You, you will have these conflicts of interest like literally daily, but it still doesn't mean you don't love or respect those other people that you have to deal with. That's it. That's it's that's just diff. That's just being different. Good God! Well, you know, some of you really are fucking r r ridiculous. I have to say. Anyway, grow the fuck up. Now, uh, to the matter at hand.
Yeah, that's what Anto and Deco is about. Anto and Deco came out of the whole thing of uh, the characters Anto and Deco invented. They came out of the whole thing of like seeing things as black and white. And, and Anto sees everything as black and white. And if you're not 100% with him, you're, that's why he calls Deco a shill. Or, uh, you know, because he doesn't believe the things that De Anto believes. That's what Anto and Deco was all about. Anto is one, is one of you types that have to have everything black and white. And then it has to be perfect or it doesn't matter. And uh, I guess Barry Drewmore is the same. But Bar Barry Drewmore is a broken soul. You see, I have, a, I, have a lot of, I have a lot of affection for Barry Drewmore. Because he's, he's, a, he's a man who's struggling to maintain an orthodoxy in the, in the face of a world that has rejected him. So I kind of have a, he's a kind of a, a Piero character in a Puccini opera. You know, Barry Drumont, for all the Barry Drumont, you know, Lynch book there and the thing. I'm, I, 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 I'm like a, I'm like a, I'm like a, a I'm like straight from a Puccini opera. I have been, I have been failed, I've, you know, he's failed. He, 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 but he, he's trying to, that's why he's, all his marriages fail, you know. He thinks he's doing the right thing, but he's misguided. So I have a lot of affection for Barry Drewmore. Like, do you remember the time he had a nervous breakdown talking to the newsreel swan? I mean, that was like, that was heartfelt. That was heartfelt. See, I would never understand where Barry Drewmore is coming from, except that his heart is, his, his heart is genuine. And this is what's destroying his life. So maybe it'd be a bit of Barry Drewmore new types as well. But, uh... Okay, so we have a. Uh, so yesterday I made a video saying that. Well, basically the war in Eastern Europe is over. It's 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 finished. Russia have, have captured all its primary objectives, and uh, it's going to hold on to them and stay there. And this thing will become like a. It'll just peter out into a Cold War situation. People will find, with the exception of Irish Prime Minister Michal Martin, who's probably commissioning a, an oil painting of Zelensky right now. The rest of the world will start turning on Zelensky and saying this guy was an idiot. This guy was an idiot and mis mismanaged everything. So that's that's why Biden wouldn't give him the long range missiles. The lot they're not long range conventional missiles to hit targets in Russia, uh, because uh, even Biden, uh, you know, a vegetable like Biden, was was smart enough not to get involved in that. But Zelensky is uh, Zelensky will his his day in the sun is over. And you'll start seeing things like the how he mismanaged the war and everything like that. And he was more interested in his own person. He'll watch all these new stories will appear. The, the knives will come out. The real, the the night the, the long knives from the, from us, the ones who loved him will come out. Not Michal Martin. He'll worship him forever. Speaking of the Irish Prime Minister Michal Martin and the Deputy Prime Minister Leo Varadkar, like remember I was talking about like the Irish are to mediocrity what the Brazilians are to soccer. Well, the the list of attendees who are appearing at the Davos meeting, the World Economic Forum, is really interesting. The big boys are not there. It's almost like the writing is that they, they know they've been found out, so the snakes have slithered away that would normally go there. With it, it, just about every country has either sent a foreign, some kind of minister or some kind of senior civil servant. But Ireland, of course, sends the prime, the prime minister and the deputy prime minister, uh, you know, need to go along so they can get their latest orders. They can sit there next to civil servants and bureaucrats and minor politicians and get their orders from the globalists on how to treat the people that elected them in the country that they allegedly are representing. It's and that's like they're they're they're, they're such losers. Michal Martin and Varadkar at the end of the day are mediocre fucking losers. Going to a globalist meeting that the globalists have said this thing is not this thing is not working anymore. Just like when they they kind of stopped when the Bilderberg thing was kind of found out, they kind of stopped that. To this, you know, it wasn't a big deal anymore. Then the WF became the big deal, and now they're like, oh, too many, too many of the animals and the peasants know about the WDF. Let's probably give it a wide berth. So, but like the 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 mediocre and stupid and uh, clueless Irish leadership goes there to sit there among bureaucrats and civil servants thinking they're world players it I mean it sums up irish mediocrity beautifully 
But anyway, uh, so that's all perfectly timed along with the World Health Organization's new panic meeting regarding this monkeypox, okay? Now, this monkeypox, it's interesting how... Yeah, I know I'm I know I'm 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 definitely eccentric, I know that. And I definitely see the world in very kind of fucking sideways ways. And that's just how I am. But I find looking at things from different angles even angles that wouldn't have any specific direct meaning allows me to kind of understand the situations better. It's just how I am. What can I say? And uh, so I'm starting this this monkeypox thing. Well, first of all, it's yeah, is it a scam? Well, of course it's a scam, because everything that the globalists foist upon you through their mainstream media, whether it's the war in Eastern Europe, whether it's the Rona, whether it's this, whether it's this thing, whether it's you know Russian bots on the internet, it's always a scam. It's, it's they're always they're always lying to you. But it's the magnitude and the frequency and the the nuances of the lie that really you need to think about. So, yeah, monkeypox is real. And uh, you see the photographs of the poor fuckers looking like Pinhead from Eraserhead or from uh, the Clive Barker films. And... Uh, so they all, they look like Pinhead. You have these fucking, these, these spots all over you, you know. Your suffering, your suffering will be legendary. And, uh, Cenobites, funny, we're back to Cenobites again. You see everything kind of, kind of, archetypally kind of spins around. We're getting real Cenobites now. And, um, so I'm looking at the symptoms of monkeypox. And uh, they're the same the side effects from the Rona needlecraft. Well, fuck me. Could that be a link? Well, yeah. Could the monkeypox be a cover story for mass side effects caused by the Rona jab? Well, it may be a bit of a stretch to say this, considering we live in a world where we're never lied to, but, hmm, it's possible. And how is it possible? Well, documents have been released, and they're legit, that the Bill and Melinda, Bill and fucking, what well, that wagon he was married to, uh, foundation, commissioned millions of monkeypox vaccinations, to be made and put into storage for this date. What? It's all legit. Go and have a look for it. Of course, fact checkers will be all over it saying it's not true. But it's all out there. My friend, my friend is here. And are you... Francis, come here. I'm, <laughs> I'm making a video right now. Your timing is perfect. Oh, you can't fucking see it, but he's made a cosplay hat with horns on it. It's fucking brilliant. But uh, well, I can't fit it on because it's too high for the car. I'll talk to you later, okay? But <laughs> we have fucking great crack here. But, uh, uh, but, uh, where was I? Uh, his fucking his, his, his shaman hat is hilarious I'll take a photograph of me wearing it later but um, his uh, yeah so is it is, is it a scam well yeah that we do know the documents exist we know the documents exist uh, that, that that they invented this monkeypox vaccine in advance what and do you remember when he was interviewed with his wagon and the two of them are there, and he goes, "This pandemic will be shit, but the next pandemic, it'll be, it'll be worse." The two, two fucking head cases, two inbred head cases, rich head cases. 
smiling gleefully, talking about the next pan. Well, the monkeypox things is kind of looking like it. And uh, these people are completely in the nut jobs. And uh, they get away with it because uh, we have mediocrity and power just about everywhere now. But the we, but Ireland is, is the Brazil of mediocrity, Ramona. Uh, we're number one. Don't take that from us. You know, champions, champions, we are exceptionally average. That's the Irish national anthem. You know, onward, maybe together, we probably might, if the pubs are closed, answer Ireland's call. That's the that's that's it. That's, yeah. See, don't don't try to take our world class mediocrity away from us. Don't you ever try that. We are the best. We are the best at mediocrity. Maybe we could be. We might be. No, we are. We are. We are the best. Are we? We are. We are. Oh, 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 Ryan Turbidy on the Late Late Show says we're the best at mediocrity, and yes, we are. We're the best at mediocrity. So anyway, yeah. Uh, the uh, so it's it's yeah it seems to me it could be possibly not I don't know I mean if it's if it's exclusive but it could be the uh, the monkeypox is the is the side effect of the jab and it's a great cover story for it right it's a great cover story for it and uh, it's a great way to sell new vaccines isn't it so uh, there goes my ad money. Like every other video I've made for last last year, but uh, the 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 dollar sign goes from green to orange to black, and then the video woo magically trans magically uh, like a fucking uh, transporter room, and the and the enterprise goes to Odyssey from YouTube. But yeah, and uh, what else was I gonna say? So yeah, that, that, that I wouldn't, and it's interesting you have like, they're saying this because of bush me, B bush me, <laughs> you know, that, that bush me sounds like a, a good name for a, a, like a, por a bad porn film in the 80s, you know, bush me, you know, Peter Long star, Peter Long stars in bush meat, hi baby, I'm here to eat your bush meat, you know, uh, sorry, I know it's very stupid, but it, it, that's what bush meat and you get it in a bush market. So bush meat is apparently uh, rats and monkeys and all that fucking shit. Chinese high cuisine. But it's it's interesting how it's similar to the wet markets and the, the Chinese food, isn't it? Isn't it? It's interesting how about it's back to blaming it on... Uh, on... Uh, that. And they're also trying to blame it on our shagging. And uh, so arse shagging, and so they're saying that the gays are at the greater risk because that they're, they're, they're the ones who do the arse shagging. So you just have to stop doing arse shagging. So it ties in with the AIDS thing and of Fauci. But then we go back into <laughs> archetypal land. <laughs> Sheridan taking you on a trip de, 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 to explore new worlds, to seek out new, th new archetypes and new connections. There used to be a guy called. Uh, James Burke. He ran a, had a TV show in the seventies in in England on the BBC called Burke's Enigma, Burke's Connections, and I have some of his book. Very interesting guy. He's the one who that we've seen that seen the greatest ever shot in TV history, where he's walking along talking about Werner von Braun developing liquid rocket fields, and just as he says, and if you mix hydrogen and oxygen together, you get that, and the rocket immediately ignition ignites the engine and takes off. That was his TV show, and he, he made very good programs talking about connections and showed how how you could have, say, like someone who invented a gas lamp in a in a Czechoslovakian mine eventually led to the discovery of a a medication that cured smallpox in South Africa, and he would connect all these tangents of how that led to and it was very very interesting stuff i have his book on the industrial revolution it's very clever and it shows how the industrial revolution was a series of these kind of ping pong happenstances that reflected off each other but that also exists on the archetypal sort of metaphysical level and 
Ireland right now, what's the, you know, I hear, I hear you know, and I know there are more, more, more Irish people waking up, but the number one news story in Ireland right now, see, it's all, isn't it all tie in nicely? You had the Rona, and then they moved you from that to forget about that. We're now in Ukraine, right? Now the Ukraine thing has petered out because there was one. We'll now move to monkeypox, right? And the normies go, right, as usual. But the number one normie story in Ireland right now revolves around a candy bar, a chocolate bar called a animal bar. Animal, and which is quite tasty, by the way. Animal bars are like little kids' chocolate bars. And uh, they're very popular with families because they can, you can buy them in discount. And they're made by Nestle. And they're just called an Animal Bar. I don't know why. But on the cover is a picture of a monkey, which is kind of funny anyway. And a couple of other animals. But the Animal Bar is... Uh, some arsehole was interviewed on an Irish newspaper saying he wasn't selling Animal Bars anymore. Because... Uh, Junkies were using them to cook their heroin. The silver foil on the inside were using the wrapper from the monkey bar, from the animal bar, to cook their heroin. So shops around Ireland stopped, bikes stopped selling animal bars because they didn't want to serve junkies, based on a completely bullshit story, right? Now I find, but it's interesting too, you have a thing called animal bar, right? On the cover is a monkey, what do junkie? What do junkies do when they're cooking their hair? And what's it for? A needle to inject it. Needle craft. You see how it all ties together in the kind of subconscious world, and so that may be a form of psychic weather or mass renfielding or foreshadowing of what's to come. Maybe just now here is going to be the real clincher, right? If this hasn't been taken off YouTube already, here's the real clincher, right? We have to look at, like, the normies are stupid, but we in we the tribe aren't, okay? So we're, you know, we, we know that the, the, the mysterious increase in blood clots is the needle craft. The mysterious athletes dropping on the field and dying in many cases is the needle craft. We also know that the children dropping dead in the school is the needle craft. We know that the a sudden increase in hepatitis in children for no reason is the needle craft, okay? We know that they're all side effects of the jab, the COVID jab, right? Now, it's then, it's, it's, it could be, might be, I'm not saying it is, but it's looking like, to me anyway, that this monkeypox could be well be a prime, a prime suspect in the same regard, that it's a side effect. So the important thing here to know, note now is, if we know anyone who gets it, let's figure out if they are needle crafted or not. Because just like if people who did not have the needle craft get the monkey monkey bollocks, that uh, the bush market bollocks, that there we go. That's that's that's, that's my name for it, the bush market bollocks. And uh, if they get the bush market bollocks. Then we know it's a genuine virus that's been escaped. Well, it could have been still made in a lab somewhere, you know. But it's a genuine virus. If it's only needle crafters and those who took the transubstantiation of the sacred needle craft who start looking like fucking pinhead, then we know that uh, it's definitely a side effect. And the next jab, the jab for that is just Gates tampering with the human soft genome software, gene software again. And then selling the new antiviral software the bio, for the biological robots. So, yeah. So, interesting times ahead. Interesting times. I can see. I want to see where this is going. I, what, you know, it's, it, it, this, the Ma Bomb thing and the other ones didn't fly because the Ukraine thing had kicked off. But you'll have, like, we're going to see a lot of the same characters who were around during the Rona, like Neil Ferguson and. The wankers here in Ireland with Neffa, they're suddenly going to appear on the scene again, or similar kinds of people. We're going to a new strategy. So don't rule out lockdowns and all that stuff ever again. I mean, you know they're dying to lock us down. They're dying. They, you know, there's lots of hypochondriacs out there who want it too. Now, so that's the future going forward.
Pinhead or not? And is Pinhead with the monkey bollocks, bush meat bollocks, is those Pinheads purveyors of the transubstantiation of the sacred needlecraft? We have to find this out. We have to find this out. I, for one, am terribly interested in this. Now, er. Uh, a lot of you are not happy that I said Snowden, Redwood Snowden, was clearly bullshit. Because uh, he tells us nothing. Well, on Redacted, which is a news site, has featured a story by him like it's some kind of sacred fucking text. Now, I'm not going to stop Redacted because they do some good stuff. So, unlike you, I'm not a child who will just stop watching a YouTube channel because they believe in something. I One thing I don't. But anyway, Redacted had a story saying, and it was like so typical, it's classic Snowden story. Edward Snowden's terrifying warning about Bitcoin. Let me get the Edward Snowden face. Look as gormless as possible. Bitcoin investors will lose their money. <gasps> wow, we didn't think that was going to happen. And electronic currencies are, like Bitcoin, are stepping stones to cashless society. Oh, <gasps> I didn't know that one. Thank you for Edward Snowden. And... Bruce Wayne is Batman. <gasps> Edward Snowden, he's he's released information we don't know. Oh, Edward Snowden. He must be legit because he's, he's as gormless fucking looking as I am. Anyway, I hear the sound of guitars playing nearby. Do I go and jam? Because the guy, he plays music I don't really like. Hippie music. I like hippie music like Santana. You've got to change your evil ways, baby. To get to stop you running. Or, or Santana are good. I like Santana. But I don't like hippie music like, uh, you know... Oh, the people will rise up against the the fascists. Oh, the, that kind of shite. This foreskin kills fascist crap. Uh, see you later.